It's hard to believe, but Flight 7 might happen sooner than expected. While NASA previously updated the launch date for this flight, recent licensing updates and SpaceX's impressive progress could shift the timeline. So when can we expect Starship Flight 7 to launch, and how will it impact the plans that follow? Next, we'll dive into the major update NASA just shared about the Artemis program schedule. There's plenty of big news to cover, so let's get started on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Last month, we shared an update on the launch date for Starship Flight 7, with NASA documents pointing to January 11th as the target date. This coincided with NASA and the Australian Civil Aviation Safety Authority planning aircraft observations for Starship's re-entry. At the time, it seemed clear that the flight would occur early next year, disappointing those hoping for a launch before the end of 2024. Recent developments, however, suggest this timeline could shift. On December 4th, the FCC updated SpaceX's launch license for Flight 7, extending the launch window from December 14th, 2024, to June 14th of 2025. This update leaves open the possibility of a launch happening before January 11th, as long as it occurs after December 14th. With a half-month window available in December, there is a real chance for a launch this year. Typically, FCC updates garner less attention than FAA approvals, but in this case, the FCC's decision is pivotal. According to FAA guidelines, as long as there are no procedural changes to the mission, launches can proceed without further review. Musk recently hinted that SpaceX is likely to attempt a controlled ship landing again. While the Super Heavy Catching Test and in-space engine relight were already approved for Flight 6. Since no significant changes are planned between the two flights, the FAA's influence on the timeline is minimal, making the FCC's approval a critical factor. SpaceX is making rapid progress, positioning itself for a potential December launch. Booster 14 completed cryogenic testing and returned from Massey in early October, and after two months, it is almost certainly equipped with engines and awaiting final testing at the launch pad. The launch pad itself has been mostly cleared for use since Flight 6, aside from minor antenna issues on the tower. On December 5th, the B-15 transport stand was delivered to Mega Bay, and later that day, B-14 was moved to the bay entrance. Road closures for transport were scheduled for December 5th and the 6th, and by now, the booster has likely arrived at the launch pad. Testing schedules indicate activity on December 7th, 9th, and the 10th, suggesting that cryogenic and static fire tests will occur soon. This would position B-14 for integration testing with Ship 33 shortly after. Ship 33 has also made significant progress. It returned from Massey over a month ago, likely after engine installations were completed. The ship is expected to undergo static fire testing at Massey next week before being transported to the launch pad. If these steps proceed without delays, integration testing could occur in mid-December, allowing for a launch by the end of the month. If SpaceX achieves this timeline, Flight 7 could launch in the fourth week of December, marking the fifth Starship flight of 2024. A launch on December 24th would not only make for a spectacular Christmas Eve event, but also represent an improvement in turnaround time, as it would come just 35 days after Flight 6 on November 19th. This will be faster than the 37-day gap between Flights 5 and 6, signaling continued progress in launch cadence. The upcoming mission will be critical for the Starship program as it involves an attempt to catch the Super Heavy booster and perform a controlled vertical landing of the ship. Success would mark a significant leap forward, positioning SpaceX for an ambitious 2024. Depending on the outcome of Flight 7, SpaceX could repeat similar objectives for Flight 8, which aligns with NASA's planned observation, or proceed directly to catching both stages. Hardware for subsequent missions is also advancing rapidly. Ship 34 and Booster 15 are making strong progress. Construction of Ship 34 appears to be complete and is likely to begin testing after Ship 33. Booster 15, under construction since June, had its final section, the methane tank, revealed in late August. This suggests its construction was completed some time ago and is now awaiting testing. If all goes according to plan, Ship 34 and Booster 15 could launch together in January of 2025. 
SpaceX aims to develop a Starship refueling system by March, and at the current pace, another flight could follow in February after the January mission. Demonstrating stage catching in two flights would provide a solid foundation for refueling capabilities crucial to SpaceX's long-term goals and its target of 25 launches in 2025. The next few months will be pivotal for the Starship program, with rapid hardware progress, efficient testing, and streamlined launches driving a surge of activity. Whether Flight 7 happens in December or early January, it will mark a key milestone in SpaceX's mission to revolutionize space travel. A December launch adds excitement to the year's end, but what's your prediction? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for updates on SpaceX's groundbreaking journey. The future of space exploration is unfolding faster than ever. Speaking of space exploration, NASA recently announced another delay in the Artemis program schedule. Previously expected launch dates of September 2025 and September of 2026 are now outdated. Artemis 2 is postponed to April of 2026 while Artemis 3 is pushed back to mid-2027. NASA cites the need to ensure the Orion spacecraft is fully prepared, with Administrator Bill Nelson stating, Space is demanding, and we and our industry and international partners need this time to make sure that the Orion capsule is ready to safely deliver our astronauts to deep space and back to Earth. The delays once again highlight challenges within NASA's systems. Despite a successful 25-day Artemis 1 mission, Orion revealed significant issues with its heat shield. Engineers spent months investigating the problem. Recently, Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy disclosed that during the Artemis 1 mission, heat accumulated in the outer layer of the heat shield during the planned skip entry causing gases to become trapped, increasing internal pressure, and resulting in cracking and uneven shedding of the outer layer. Addressing this problem necessitates replacing the heat shield a major factor in the Artemis II delay. In fact, engineers have devised adjustments to limit Orion's exposure to the temperatures that caused the heat shield issues. NASA officials stated, The updated timeline for the Artemis II flight is informed by technical issues engineers are troubleshooting, including with an Orion battery issue and its environmental control or life support system. The heat shield was installed in June of 2024, and the root cause investigation took place in parallel to other assembly and testing activities to preserve as much schedule as possible. While these steps aim to resolve existing challenges, they also underscore the complexity of the Orion spacecraft. Looking forward, the updated schedule now places Artemis 2 in 2026, Artemis 3 in 2027, and Artemis 4 in 2028. While still ahead of China's planned crewed lunar mission in 2030, these delays come with risks, particularly given China's rapid advancements in space exploration. NASA's aim to maintain a strong presence in cislunar space is critical for both scientific and geopolitical reasons, as Bill Nelson emphasizes. Um, I think we are handing to the new administration uh, a safe and reliable way forward for us, uh, which is uh, to go back to the moon, to get there before China, uh, to have uh, presence in cislunar, uh, which is important to our country other than NASA, and uh, to be on the way of Moon to Mars. These delays represent the second major schedule adjustment for Artemis in 2024, following a similar shift earlier this year. This pattern is frustrating for those eager to see the program succeed, especially given the substantial financial and time investments. However, the delays may also signify the final major decisions made under Bill Nelson's leadership. Soon, Nelson will step down as NASA Administrator, with Jared Isaacman to take his place. Isaacman's appointment could signal a new direction for NASA. Known for his dynamic leadership and close relationship with SpaceX, he is well positioned to address the complexities and inefficiencies of NASA's existing systems, including Orion, SLS, and the Mobile Launcher, which have been criticized as overly expensive and plagued with delays. 
His familiarity with SpaceX, a critical partner in the Artemis program, may streamline collaboration and accelerate progress. With Starship's rapid development, there's confidence that SpaceX will meet the program's ambitious goals, keeping the U.S. ahead in the race against China. The dream of returning humans to the moon and eventually go on to Mars remains alive. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.